Hello everybody, my name is Pani Gupta. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about the poem, The Tale of Custard the Dragon. It is a very interesting poem. It's a very long poem, but it is a really interesting one with which comes with a moral. So in today's video, we are going to discuss in detail about the theme, plot, setting, characters, that what all characters uh, should we expect in this poem introduction. So we are going to discuss about all these details. So first of all, let's talk about the poet. Frederick Ogden Nash, August 19, 1902 to May 19, 1971, was an American poet well known for his light verse of which he wrote over 500 pieces. So Frederick Ogden Nash was a very, very, very famous poet. He was born on 19th August, 1902, and he died on May 19, 1971. He was an American poet who used to write uh, poems. Light verse means uh, comedy, comedy and uh, very uh, humorous. He used to write humorous poems. Usne karib, uh, Frederick Ogden Nash ne around 500 poems pieces likhe hai. He was known as the producer of humorous poetry. So uh, normally, the ones he used to write used to be very humorous. What the comic sense hota it has a sense of comedy in them. He received Sarah Josepha, Josepha Hale Award in 1964. So 1964, Sarah Josepha Hale Award bhi mila tha. And some of his famous works are just say old men, fly, duck. These are some of his really famous works. Okay. Now let's discuss about the setting of the poem. Setting is that what type of poem it is, how long is it, what is the rhyming scheme, all these things in, comes in setting. The Tale of Custard, The Dragon by Ogden Nash is a poem written in a ballet form. Students, ballet is a type of writing just poems are generally very long and they come with a moral lesson. Okay, they depict a moral lesson. It's a very long poem which, which tells a story. Basically tells a story. Nash through this poem tries to give a moral lesson. Hence, it is also an example of a fable. Fable are basically those poems, those stories who comes with a moral lesson and the main characters of the fables are animals. Okay. So in a fable, inanimate objects or animals can speak and each character represents a humanly quality. So the fable is that the animals or inanimate objects are saying that they are saying that they have characteristics and they tell a story which gives us a moral lesson. So there are a total of 15 stanzas in the poem, each having four lines in it. In this poem, there are 15 stanzas. Hain. 15 stanzas or her stanza is of four lines. Only the 13th stanza contains six lines. But the 13th stanza hai, usme there are uh, six lines. The rhyme scheme of the poem is A-A-B-B and it goes on like this. So the rhyming scheme is A-A-B-B. I'll explain you in detail. In this poem, uh, in this poem itself, that how do we discover the rhyming scheme of a poem? What is the technique? I have uh, had a few questions. There were a lot of students who came up to me and asked, ma'am, how do we define rhyming scheme? What is rhyming scheme? We just don't know. It is very random to us. So no problem. I'll discuss in detail how to identify the rhyming scheme in a poem. This rhyme scheme is also known as a regular rhyme scheme and Nash preferred this rhyming pattern while composing his light poetry. So this rhyming scheme hai, A -A -B -B, is a common rhyming scheme hai. and this is also one of the most widely used rhyming pattern by Ogden Nash. Basically, wo unki light poetry is a lot of rhyming scheme. Ka use kafi karte hai. Okay. The next is theme. What is the theme of the poem? The Tale of Custard the Dragon by Ogden Nash presents themes such as appearance versus reality, hypocrisy, courage, love, and jealousy. So in this poem, we will see that what people appear and what the reality is, these are two complete different themes. 
these are completely two different things we can see hypocrisy courage love jealousy all these things we can see we can witness all these emotions we can witness in the poem the main theme of the poem poem is parents versus reality so the main theme which the poet is trying to tell us wo ye hai ki insaan actual mein kya hota hai aur dikhne mein kaisa hota hai so dikhne mein insaan ka hona aur actual mein hona these are completely two different things here the creatures like the cat mouse and dog appear as courageous so when we we'll read this poem initially तो जो कैट माउस और डॉग है वो लगेगा कि माई गॉड दे सो करेज दे सो ब्रेव वाओ लेकिन क्राइसिस में बट इन क्राइसिस दे रिवील दे रियल कॉवेज लेकिन जब वो लोग क्राइसिस में होते हैं वो दिखाते हैं कि वो लोग कितने ज्यादा डरपोक हैं इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट लेकिन इसके कॉन्ट्रास्ट में द अगली एंड फॉर्मेडेबल ड्रैगन हु इज इन रियालिटी डेंजरस ऑफ देम ऑल अपेयर्स एज अ फॉर्वर्ड क्रिएटर लेकिन जो ड्रैगन है जो कि बहुत ही अगली है इट्स सपोज ड्रैगन वर्ड आता है तो हमें लगता है माय गॉड समथिंग समवन हु इज वेरी पावरफुल समवन हु इज वेरी डेंजरस पीपल आर ऑलवेज केयर ऑफ ड्रैगन्स तो कोई ऐसी चीज जो कि रियलिटी में बहुत डेंजरस है बट इस पोयम में वी कैन सी द ड्रैगन एज अ वेरी कॉवर्ड क्रिएटर जिसमें बिल्कुल हिम्मत नहीं है और वो बहुत डरपोक है But during the crisis, he saves everyone. But जब problem आए जब crisis आए only dragon was the one who seemed coward initially. But only he was the one who stood up to everybody's expectations and he saved everyone. He was not the one who just ran away. So someone's appearance doesn't make the person powerful. तो किसी का appearance किसी को powerful नहीं बनाता. इसीलिए we should never. It's a very widely said it is widely said that never judge a book by its cover jab tak aap kisi cheez ko puri tarah nahi jante you should never try to judge it okay so now before doing uh, in uh, going in detail about the poem let's think about let's talk about the characters see long poems generally ha generally have a lot of characters and the characters have different personalities different auras different appearance so let's just uh, read what characters are going to be there in the poem so the first character is belinda belinda is the main lead women of the poem lead girl i think i should say that belinda lived in a little white house with her four pets a black kitten a gray mouse a yellow dog and a little dragon and a red wagon too so belinda is a little girl who used to live in a white house she used to have four pets ek black kitten tha uske paas ek gray mouse tha ek yellow color ka dog tha ek chhota sa dragon tha ek red color ki gaadi thi belinda believed herself as brave as a barrel full of bears wo apne aap ko bahut zyada brave samajhti thi ki agar koi jagah pe bahut sare bears honge even then she'll come she she'll succeed she she thought herself to be extremely brave ki wo to kisi ko bhi face kar sakti hai bears all these things are just very uh, not too much for her it's okay she she can face anybody okay now let's read about the second character which is ink it is a small kitten who is black in color ye ek chhota sa kitten hai jo ki black in color hai ink was considered to be so brave that he can scare and even chase away someone as strong as lion to ink को इतना ब्रेव पोट्रे किया गया है इस पोएम में कि वो लायन जैसे इंसान को भी भगा सकता है ही द कैपेबिलिटी टू फाइट अ लायन आल्सो ही कैन डू ही कैन ही कैन डू एनीथिंग ही वाज ही इज कंसीडर्ड इन दिस पोएम ही इज बीइंग कंसीडर्ड एक्सट्रीमली ब्रेव ओके द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर इज ब्लिंक इट इज अ लिटिल माउस हुज ग्रेन कलर सो ब्लिंक इज अ स्मॉल लिटिल माउस हुज ग्रेन कलर Blink was also considered to be so brave that he can scare and even chase away someone as strong as a lion. Blink को भी बताया गया है पोयम में कि वो बहुत ज्यादा strong है इतना strong है कि वो lion को भी हरा सकता है तो he even he is considered to be very strong. So we know about three characters till now: Belinda, who is very powerful, who is very brave, Ink and Blink. Both the characters, all the three characters are very strong. Now we'll read about Mustard. It is a little dog who was sharp and was yellow in color as mustard. So mustard is a dog. Hai, 
जो कि बहुत ही स्मार्ट uh, है येलो कलर का है इसी वजह से उसका नाम मस्टर्ड पड़ा है सो बेलिंडा नेम्ड इन मस्टर्ड तो इसीलिए उसको मस्टर्ड किया बिकॉज ही इज जस्ट समवॉट मस्टर्ड इन कलर इसलिए उसका नाम मस्टर्ड कर दिया द ब्रेवरी ऑफ द मास्टर डॉग वॉज कम्पेयर टू दैट ऑफ द टायर एंगर तो जितना जैसे टाइगर गुस्सा होता है तो वो भी वो मतलब वो भी इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग है इतना पावरफुल है कि उसके उसको उसको टाइगर के एंगर से कंपेयर किया गया है ही इज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड सो पावरफुल सो ब्रेव उसको भी डर नहीं लगता किसी से तो ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स बाय नाउ वी हैव रेड आर वेरी पावरफुल वेरी करेजियस एंड दे आर वेरी ब्रेव next is custard custard is again one of the lead characters of the poem belinda named the dragon custard which symbolizes that he was a coward animal and not brave enough as the other creatures of the home to so belinda ne custard dragon ka naam custard rakha jiska matlab ye hai ki wo bilkul bhi brave nahi hai he is very coward dusre creatures ko agar hum compare karenge to custard bilkul bhi brave nahi hai The dragon has big sharp teeth. Dragon के बहुत बड़े sharp teeth हैं. He looks scary as his skin is pointed at the top and his lower part has scaled underneath. वो उसका वो बहुत scary लगता है. Dragons are not very pretty to look at. He is very scary. उसकी skin एकदम pointed है ऊपर से. Lower part में scales हैं. His mouth looks like a fireplace, showing his power. और उसका जो mouth होता है dragon का वो एक fireplace से compare किया गया है. Because we see that um, Dragons emit fire. Dragons अपने मुंह से फायर निकालते हैं दैट इज वाइट इज बीन कम्पेयर टू अ फायर प्लेस हिज नोज इज कम्पेयर विद अ चिमनी थ्रू विथ स्मोक कम्स आउट फ्रॉम द फायर ऑफ हिज माउथ तो जो फायर निकलता है मुंह से तो नोज को चिमनी बोला गया है जिससे जो भी एक्स्ट्रा स्मोक है वो निकलती है The dragon's toes are so pointed that it can cut anything like a sharp knife. और उसके पोटोज as you can see in the picture itself also. सॉरी एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर ऑल्सो दीज आर सो पॉइंटेड इतने शार्प होते हैं कि इट इज बीन कम्पेयर टू अ नाइफ नाउ द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर इज द पायरेट जब पायरेट आता है देर इज अ लिटिल ट्विस्ट इन द स्टोरी द पायरेट हैज गन्स इन बोथ हैंड्स दोनों हाथ में पायरेट के गन्स हैं ही वॉज ऑल्सो कैरिंग अ ब्राइट शार्प ब्लेड बिटवीन इज टीथ और एक शार्प ब्लेड टीथ भी है उसके पास He he had a black beard and one of his legs was injured. So he is not, uh, he is physically handicapped. You can say that a black beard a pirate की उसका एक leg as you can see he has a wooden leg. So he seems to be a very dangerous person who intended to harm the house. Looks देख के pirate का ऐसा लगता है he is very dangerous and he has come into the house to cause harm. Okay, now let's do the introduction of the poem. Let's see what we are going to find in the poem. The poem is a humorous ballet that presents a piece of writing in a funny way. तो बहुत ही funny way में एक हमें बहुत लंबी सी story बताई गई है. A little girl Belinda is described in this poem. So we have already know about the girl. तो छोटी सी एक लड़की है Belinda. उसके बारे में poem में बताया गया है. With many pets whom she had named. She has got a lot of pets और उसने सब pets के नाम रखे हैं. She has named the black kitten as Ink. उसने black kitten को Ink का नाम दिया है. ग्रे माउस को ब्लिंक का नाम दिया है येलो डॉग को मस्टर्ड का नाम दिया है और कॉवर ड्रैगन जो डरपोक ड्रैगन है उसका नाम कस्टर्ड है द पोएट हैज ब्यूटिफुली डिस्क्राइब्ड ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स इन द पोएम सो बेसिकली पोएट्री इज रिच इन डिस्क्रिप्शन पोएट्री की ब्यूटी ही यही है कि एक एक कैरेक्टर को पोएट इतना ब्यूटिफुली एक्सप्लेन करता है इतने कलरफुल डिस्क्रिप्शन होती है कि इट विल इट यू इट इज बाउंड टू सीम इंटरेस्टिंग यू कैन नॉट रन अवे फ्रॉम इट आपको मजा आएगा पढ़ने में तो ऑल दी कैरेक्टर्स इन द पोएम ईच एंड एवरी कैरेक्टर इज बीइंग ब्यूटीफुली डिस्प्ले ब्यूटीफुली एक्सप्लेन He says that all of them are very brave except the dragon. तो ये पूरी पोएम में बताया गया है कि सारे कैरेक्टर्स बहुत ब्रेव हैं सिवाय ड्रैगन के But his perception changes when the dragon saves everyone from the attack. लेकिन सबका perception change हो जाता है सबका perception means सबका नजरिया change हो जाता है जब crisis के time पे dragon सबको बचाता है pirate के attack से Belinda के घर में on Belinda's house. So that's all for today. This was a little introduction and uh, a little we knew uh, we uh, we now know about the poem. So in the next video, we are going to dis discuss in detail about the poem, the rhyming scheme, 
and every other minute detail message we are going to discuss that in the next poem thank you very much stay tuned for more videos